if Poulter's defection is seen in the light of the coming local elections on Thursday, and if those local elections, including the police commissioner elections, are as bad as they are predicted to be, it's more than likely that Conservative MPs in Westminster will panic and look around for someone to blame or someone to lead them into the next election to victory. And although it defies all common sense, the Conservative Party has now a record of defying common sense. After all, it elected Liz Truss. After all, it uh, continued with Boris Johnson. Well, Boris Johnson might have had some saving uh, graces here and there, as long as you don't consider honesty to be one of the primary attributes of prime ministerial or, or indeed ministerial office. But Liz Truss, unless you're looking for a reboot of Joe 90, or indeed um, the uh, Captain Scarlet, I don't think Liz Truss has anything to offer. But of course, if you do want super marionation, uh, then her, her hand action is particularly admirable. And, uh, you know, the, 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 um, the amount of time that she dedicates to practicing her hand action and the reverence that she gave to various individuals like Kwasi Kwarteng uh, will, will come into play. I, I suppose there will be some people in history who will try to rewrite this one. Liz Truss will be leading uh, that particular um, group to suggest that Liz Truss was simply up against a lot of nasty individuals who were out to spite her and say, you know, uh, her, her her intellect is zero, her hand jobs are useless, Kwasi Kwarteng's prodigious package isn't anything to write home about. But there will be others, there will be others who will, who will recognise that Kwasi Kwarteng was offering something quite remarkable. It was just ill-timed ill-conceived and thunderously uh, enormous. And instead of doing something positive, it did something negative. And I think history, as long as Liz Truss doesn't get round to writing it, will record that Liz Truss was a disaster. But the Conservative Party got behind that nonsense. And the strong possibility that we could find ourselves in a Conservative Party uh, leadership election by the end of May, particularly if there if there is any in a, if there is any more internal dissension in the Conservative Party before Thursday, and that's not an impossibility. Then I think there's every possibility that we could see Rishi Sunak out of Number Ten, and Penny Mordaunt or somebody else into Number Ten, even. Uh, you know, the 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 doom, the doom. Remember that um, that wonderful scene in the middle of Christmas Carol, when uh, Scrooge notices two children hiding under the cloak of the ghost of Christmas present, and he says, um, uh, are, "Are they yours?" And the ghost of Christmas present points down to these two children. And he says, beware them both, but most of all, beware this boy. This girl is want. This boy is ignorance. And Scrooge says, are, are, are they yours? And he says, they are man's, they're man's progeny, but they cling to me. And we are in a situation. They are figures of doom. They herald doom. And we are in a situation where ignorance and want are dictating political action. And that is always dangerous. And Dickens had it, has, has it perfectly. These are children controlling the ship of state. And the, these are children looking to approval from... <laughs> from the matron standing standing on the sidelines of the nursery. And Rishi Sunak is, is, is all but avoiding 
any form of examination in Westminster. Uh, is he going to turn up to this coming week's Prime Minister's questions the day before the council elections? Maybe that will be his last Prime Minister's questions before the sword of Damocles comes crashing down on him. I think changing the leader at this stage would be a disaster and a foolish move. I think if a leadership election is threatened, Rishi Sunak may well pull the plug and say, well, let's just simply call a general election. That would be extraordinary. And I think the inevitability of a Labour um, government is certain. But I don't think it, it's so certain that it's going to be a landslide. I think that landslide is dependent on how fractured the SNP is in Scotland. And if that collapses, we will see two uh, major figures brought to rack and ruin, Rishi Sunak and Humza Yusuf. And probably the collapse of two parties overnight, because the SNP will not recover from the loss of Scotland and the Conservative Party will not recover from uh, the, the, the split that will occur immediately after the general election. I'm not suggesting that the Conservative Party will be wiped out by the general election, by the way. I'm suggesting the Conservative Party will fracture after the general election into a very right-wing party, which might just as well be called Reform or, 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 or Nigel Farage's back pocket, and a more moderate party, which may well um, find an alliance with the Lib Dems. And we, we might well see in the next 15 years a revival of the Lib Dems as the natural party of leadership in Britain, uh, as opposed to the Conservative Party.